And in our news today, it's Stand in the Gap weekend. On Sunday, a group plans to march from the campus of LMU along the Harrogate Greenway into the town of Cumberland Gap. Stand in the Gap is a proposed movement to cry out for God to heal our land from the devastation of drug and alcohol abuse. The movement has reached out into Kentucky, Tennessee, and Virginia with churches, civic groups, government officials, and numerous others who are interested and involved in what this can do for the tri-state area. The prayer march concludes with a prayer service in the Harrogate Town Center followed by a concert. This is a coordinated effort by a group of volunteers who want to see area communities unite and free of corruption. Organizers estimate thousands of marchers. Buses are leaving from La Follette around noon on Sunday with the march beginning at 2 o'clock. To ride the bus or get more details, call the Stand in the Gap information hotline at 423-300-1302. Long Hollow Road is the latest Tennessee Highway Patrol checkpoint. That one ended earlier today. However, another is scheduled for tomorrow. The Highway Patrol sets up a little south of Caraville on Highway 116 at Little Cove Creek Road. During these checkpoints, troopers concentrate their efforts on vehicles being operated by drivers who would violate state driver license laws. Relay for Life kicks off today. Although the main event for Relay for Life is not until spring, it all begins today. In fact, at this hour, the kickoff dinner is taking place at Miss Lassie's Lodge. Aside from a free dinner, volunteers are learning how they can help in the fight against cancer. We've told you once and we'll remind you again, it's time change this weekend. If you've been waiting for that extra hour of sleep you lost a few months ago, then your wait is almost over. Saturday night is when Campbell County and most of the country return to standard time. Just remember to set your clocks back one hour before you go to sleep Saturday night. It's also a good time to put new batteries in your home smoke alarms. You name it and the price is more than likely higher today than it was last November 3rd. With the rising cost of everything, consumers are looking to save money anywhere they can. Groceries are a necessity line. Here are a few ways that you can be able to save a few dollars out of necessities. Search supermarkets for a buy one get one free sale. This is helpful if the items being purchased can be frozen or stored for a time. The internet is full of offers for free groceries. They may be smaller in packaging, but you can still use them nonetheless. Also, take advantage of double coupon days. If you double a 50 cent off coupon, that gets you one dollar off. And finally this evening, we leave you on a healthy note. So how do you stay healthy during colder weather? Now that fall is here, you still need to try to stay healthy. Walking is one of the best ways to stay in shape. Walking one mile every day promises to reduce the risk of heart disease and strengthen bones and keep them strong. Water spells health. Water flushes out toxins, so drink plenty of water each day. Even though it's cooler now, most days are still sunny, and the trees are holding on to some beautiful leaves. So why not get out and enjoy some of the time outdoors? Tomorrow brings out next best chance to enjoy a sunny afternoon. Big Josh has your weekend weather forecast, and it's one that you'll like. And that's our news for this Thursday. Stay tuned. We'll be back with a press release from the Campbell County Sheriff's Department.
And now it's time to take a look at the press release from the Campbell County Sheriff's Department brought to you by Billy's Transmission, located right across from Campbell County High School and the Joy Hunter Automotive Center. Billy has years of experience in the transmission business, and he'll be happy to take a look at your vehicle, give you a free estimate, and discuss anything you have to talk about or answer any questions you have. So just give him a call at 423-201-2499 or stop by and see him in the Joy Hunter Automotive Center right across from Campbell County High School. There are 15 names on our press release for today. Blanche Ball, age 24, of Long Hollow Road, La Follette, for theft of property under $500 and violation of probation. 47-year-old Harold Daniel Bell of East Walden Street, La Follette, for promotion of meth manufacture, felony possession of drug paraphernalia, and possession of a Schedule II controlled substance. Sean Dale Bennett, 33, of North 12th Street, La Follette, for possession of a Schedule II controlled substance and possession of a Schedule IV controlled substance. 33-year-old Daniel Lee Bolton of Island Ford Road in Jacksboro, driving while revoked or suspended, third offense, and violation of the Tennessee financial law. Larry Stephen Carroll, 22, of North 5th Street, La Follette, for public intoxication and disorderly conduct. Donnie Ellis, 47, of Speedwell, for violation of probation. 42-year-old Robert Allen Hughes, Jr., of Dandridge, is in the county jail on 10 charges. Fourth offense, DUI, driving while revoked, habitual motor vehicle offender, speeding, violation of the implied consent law, violation of the seatbelt law, the Tennessee financial law, the registration law, and violation of the open container law, as well as failure to exercise due care. Charles Cecil King, age 40 of Jellicoe, for vandalism. 19-year-old Dustin Michael Leach of Knoxville, for theft of property under $10,000. Donnie R. Ledford, 37, of South Highway 25W, La Follette. Second offense, driving on a revoked or suspended license, violation of the Tennessee financial law, the seatbelt law, the muffler law, and making an improper turn. Curtis Lynn Lowe, 34, of Clinton, for theft of property under $500. 46-year-old Tammy Leah Perry of Duff for promotion of meth manufacture, felony possession of drug paraphernalia, and possession of a Schedule II controlled substance. Elliot Scott Roberts, age 40, of North 5th Street, La Follette, for promotion of meth manufacture, felony possession of drug paraphernalia, and possession of a Schedule II controlled substance. Karen Gray Shriver, 47, of East Walden Street, La Follette, for promotion of meth manufacture, felony possession of drug paraphernalia, and possession of a Schedule II controlled substance. And last on our arrest list today is another meth charge, Elisha Michelle Wilson, 29, of Lake City, for promotion of meth manufacture, felony possession of drug paraphernalia, and possession of a Schedule II controlled substance. And that wraps up our portion of the news for today. There's lots more on the way, so stay with us and have a pleasant evening. We sing happy birthday to you And may all your dreams come true Happy, happy birthday Good Thursday evening, everybody. Dan Sansone back in for your East Side Pizza, WLAF, birthdays and anniversaries. I almost got it. The cold is almost gone. I'll be screaming. I think I'll be full go screaming tomorrow. So uh, 
here we go. But we're just going to talk about today's birthdays and anniversaries. Celebrate a birthday today. Uh, well, we've got a little bit of family affair going on here in uh, WLAF with the birthdays. Uh, our very own Bunny, her son today, Stephen Lane McCauley, celebrating his birthday today. So happy birthday to him. And our very old Jordan Colley's father, Jim Colley, celebrating his birthday today. So congratulations to both of them from here at the WL. They're part of the big WLAF family. So I'd like to say happy birthday to Colley and to McCauley. So, but uh, let's see. Also celebrated birthday today. Oh, there's, they're not a, that's not it. But uh, uh, Brenda uh, Cantrell celebrating her birthday today. And Tiffany uh, Walden celebrating her 17th birthday today. So... Uh, congratulations to all of those guys. Uh, they are now qualified for the Dinner for Two, two buffet dinners from Eastside Pizza and Deli. And uh, so hope they win. Don't have any anniversaries today, but if today has been your birthday anniversary, we here at WLAF and Eastside Pizza and Deli are hoping you have a spectacular day. Don't forget, tomorrow is the deadline, so make sure you get your birthdays and anniversaries in by early tomorrow morning. Well, that's it for birthdays and anniversaries. You guys have a great and safe evening. Stay tuned. Your news continues.